Hi, I'm Mark, and this is The Country Life with Columbus Mark, where I try to give you a lighthearted look at life in the country. And in this episode, I'm going to tell you about the time I achieved my dream of becoming a National Park Ranger. Today, I'm at the Carl Sandburg National Historical Site in Flat Rock, North Carolina. It's a great place. But my story goes back way before that, to 1978, when I took my first cross-country tour from Louisiana to California and back. And during that trip, I got to visit a lot of this country's national parks and forests. And it's there where I met and started to admire the National Park Rangers. So that summer, I got to travel and visit in a lot of wonderful and incredible national parks, state parks, national forests, and all of these places. I got to see Big Bend National Park, drove across Death Valley, made it all the way to California, Grand Canyon, came back east and we went through the Rockies. I saw Yellowstone, the Grand Tetons, and of course, Rocky Mountain National Park. And all of those parks, I sought out opportunities to be involved with the ranger program, interpretive programs, be it a talk or a hike. And I knew then what a life that would be. But it never happened. Life just gets in the way sometimes and you move ahead. But three years ago, the opportunity came knocking. So this is a good friend of mine, Don Silomon. And Don, like me, he's retired but he's a lot younger. But Don and I had a lucky day one time, June 2017. Do you remember, Don? I do. Back I you? remember that. It's coming it, back. It it's is. It's coming back to you. <laughs> we had a group of kids on a one-week trip in the Cherokee area in North Carolina. And it's the headquarters, the eastern headquarters, the North Carolina yep. headquarters of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It is. So we were in the park one day. And what happened, Don? And we ran into a regular park ranger who was there, and it was our lucky day that she uh, uh, explained to us that we could, was it a she? It was a she. <laughs> okay, yeah, see, I remember, see, it's coming back. Um, that we could become junior park rangers all in one day. Now, she was talking about the group of kids would be junior park rangers. Okay, yeah. And they could in one day take all these little mini classes right. and pass the requirements to earn their designation as a junior national park ranger right but we were older we were than, not so junior park we rangers not, we were over I think. 16 or yeah, yeah and she said we have something for you yeah that was that's why it was our lucky day i think that, exactly because i didn't <laughs> hear about the kids something good to do but it was my opportunity because we could become if we took the classes not so junior not so park junior rangers park rangers and we did that. It wasn't like an old fart patch either. It was no, not so junior. Real this is patch, real. And it says not so junior. Yeah. Ranger. And Don says he can't find his. <laughs> we have the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Ooh. Not so junior ranger certificate. And not only that, I'm sure people can't see in the video, but I'm gonna put B-roll up. We got sworn in by a park ranger. Now, this was not the one it's leading official. our classes. He was the superintendent of the National Park Service Great Smoky Mountains Unit. Yeah, you just don't get sworn in for anything, so this no. is official. And uh, it was a proud day. Was it proud? It, it was proud, yes. I can still recall it just like yesterday. So it, the lesson here, I think, Don, is uh -huh. you're never too old to follow your dreams, right? That's it. You right, can, you, you got it. it. Reach for the stars. Now, we're here at a National Park Unit now, National Historical Site, Carl Stanberg Home. I have not yet been called up for official duty. Have you, done? Not yet, but it's it's early in the day yet. Okay, it is early in the day. We, we come here sometimes and just sit, bring my certificate, and then I sit, hoping that the park rangers will stop and ask us to go into duty, like cleaning restrooms or something. But it's COVID-19 right now, and right. everything really is closed. Yeah. All right, proud moment for you, Don. Proud moment. You know you wear your patch with pride, right? I do. I, I wear mine too. Actually, I had, here had to rip it off my park jacket, right? Uh, it was a good day. So the lesson here again is follow your dreams. So thanks for watching. 
Don't ever think you're too old to follow your dreams. Who knows, one day you might find Don and me out on the trail. I'm Mark. This is The Country Life with Columbus Mark. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and all that good stuff. Welcome to my neighborhood, signing off.